Paul, you've been down there since the show began. You're one of the first four contestants. I might say you are the bad apple in the barrel. <laughs> Francis, is there anything that you would like to say to Paul? Words of encouragement. Well, he's got to try like I'll uh, keep going, you know. He what? Keep going and win. That's all he's got to do like I do. <laughs> keep trying. You don't seem to understand, Francis. You're still down there with him. I know. I that is get precisely up what he is doing, is exactly as you are. Of course, I know that. Yes. It is known as one bad bid after another. That's what's happening down there. I but know. perhaps it'll change this time. First, John, you give us the name of our next player, if you will. Right, Bob, it's Ruby Chenstead. Come on down for the next contestant on The Price is Right. Hi, Ruby. Ruby, you have the look of a winner about you. These two guys had better not fool around with you, had they? No. Well, they could fool around a little, but you're still gonna win, aren't you? Okay, what's the next item up for bids? I think it's coming from above. It's a man's cable watch. <laughs> Philippe Chariol introduces the cable watch. Swiss quartz with 18 karat gold micron, water resistant to 100 feet, with woven stainless steel nautical cable bracelet. Bob? Ruby, you get the first bid. Uh, 600. How much? 600. 600 dollars. How about it, Paul? I'll say 825. Uh, wait, now just a moment. What'd you say, Ruby? 600. 600 is what they have. Now, Paul, 825. 825. What do you think, Francis? How much? 18 karat? Uh... John, was that 18 karat gold, or what did you say? 18 karat gold. That's right. That's right. Uh, 750. 750. 750. 750. 750. Carol? 900. $900. You have all over bid. The lowest bid is $600. Erase the bids, please, and go lower than $600, Ruby. Five, 550. 550, Paul. 450. 450, Francis. 551. 551, Carol. 455. Five, 455. Now one of you is exactly right, and I'm gonna give you $100 for that perfect bid. It is the contestant who bid 550. It's Ruby. I knew it when she came up here. I knew she had the look of a winner about it. I knew Ruby was no one to fool around with. Reach in that $100 pocket and pull out that $100 bill. You get $100 because your bid was exactly right, you see? But now listen, speaking of money, that could be just the beginning for you. Look what you may win. A chance to win up to $10,000 in cash. Come on, let's go back here to the Price is Right punch board. I'm gonna give you a chance to win four punches on the punch board and four prizes. What are the four prizes, John? First, Black & Decker Scrub Brusher, the cordless rechargeable scrubber with the power to get you through your worst scrubbing jobs around the house, Scrub Brusher from Black & Decker. Second is a beef and cheese pack from Hickory Farms where there's always something new, award-winning quality foods at over 500 Hickory Farms stores nationwide. Third, a blouse from Jonathan Martin, now in silks and other naturals for that custom-tailored look. No one dresses a woman like Jonathan Martin. And fourth, West Bend's automatic skillet, dishwasher safe with durable non-stick surface and thick aluminum construction for delicious roasts and other dishes. Look at that. You see, I was giving them a bad time the other day about the fact that they had a picture of me on there that was taken the first year we were on the air, and now there's my most recent picture. You see? That, uh... You know, that retouching really helped, didn't it? <laughs> now, Ruby, let's talk about that first prize over there, that scrub brush. I want you to see a price tag that is wrong. Holly, show her. $30 is not the right price. Is the right price higher or lower? Hi higher. Higher, is she right? You have won the scrub brush. You have one punch on the punch board. Now, the gift pack is not $35, is it higher or lower? Lower. Lower, how about it? Right again, Ruby, you're a winner. You're a winner, as I said. The blouse is not $26, higher or lower? Higher. Higher, Ruby says. Higher it is. You've won three punches already. 
Now the skillet. What's the wrong price? Forty-one dollars is the right price, higher or lower? Higher. Higher, she says. Right again. I want you to step over there and punch out four of those holes and don't pull out the slip in the hole. Just punch it out. One, two, three, four. Very good, Ruby. Now, you won those four prizes over there. Let's see how much money you can win on this board. Ruby won with just one punch, which ain't bad. Ruby, listen. <laughs> now, what is the biggest amount of money you have ever won in your life? Well, maybe $50. $50 is the lowest thing you could possibly get on this board. If you win $50, you would not quit. You'd go on. But let's say you won $100. Would you give that back and go on, or would you quit? Go on. You'd go on. What if you won $500? Go on. You'd go on. What if you won $1,000? <laughs> I'd keep it. You'd keep it. It takes $1,000 to get you to quit. <laughs> then you're all through, because you have $10,000. $10,000. Here and a ten thousand dollar prize. What are you going to do with all that money? I don't know. Well, you go over there and think it over. Okay. Bye, bye, Ruby. We'll be back after these words. <laughs> <laughs>